So, you wish to hear the story of Lord Taylor of Helmchen? Well, for the time, his was one of the most wealthy and influential families in all of Andalusia. So wealthy, in fact, that they constructed a great manor overlooking the western border of Dark Oak, a manor that rivaled even the Palace of Cyrenica in size. For many years, Helmchen was a thriving lumber community, and the Taylor family watched over it, becoming increasingly more wealthy as time went on. Yet it was never enough for Lord Taylor, who wished for fame above fortune, and thus would throw great feasts each year, to which only the most prestigious were invited. These feasts became an obsession of his, and it was not long before nothing else mattered to him. Year on year, his only goal would be to outdo his previous efforts, no matter the cost. He would lock himself away for days on end, thinking only of new ways to entertain his guests. And when the feast came around, it was difficult to say if he truly even enjoyed the festivities himself. But it did not matter. All that he cared about was the perception of the outside world, and his banquets ensured that his reputation remained untarnished. Alas, like so many others, Lord Taylor's fortunes ran out as the Ember War began, for the western areas of Cyrene became a war zone, with the demons of Maltai battling the Crimson Crusaders, and all who valued their lives fled to the capital. While Helmchen Manor was walled off, the town below was no fortress, and its people feared for their safety. They begged their lord for any assistance, be that swords to defend themselves, or a place in his great manor, but none came. Then one day, a great meteor fell from the sky, tearing through part of the estate and embedding itself by the manor. From this rock spewed forth all manner of demons, seemingly limitless in number. And yet it was not these creatures that interested the estate lord, but the rock from which they emerged. Such an object could surely provide unlimited energy, and with that energy would come more wealth and more power, a prospect far too tempting for the selfish lord to ignore. While the demons slaughtered the townsfolk of Helmchen, Lord Taylor set about preparing another grand feast, at which he would display a chunk of this rare and beautiful rock as his prized possession. Yet with the war raging on, and many of the townsfolk dead, there were no farm animals to slaughter for this banquet. In a fit of insanity, the crazed lord decided that if there were no animals to eat, humans would suffice. He opened his manic gates, and in their desperation, the remaining men and women flocked to him, only to be imprisoned and slaughtered like cattle. Little did Lord Taylor know that among his captives was a witch from the nearby monastery, who had come to Helmchen seeking an escape from the bloodshed. When it came her turn to be butchered, the witch laid a curse on Lord Taylor and his guests, that they would live the same day over and over yet received no pleasure from the food or drink they consumed. Immune to the effects of time, but miserable in their endeavours, until an outsider could slay them at their banquet table and lift the curse. And so they remain, stuck in an eternal hell, and yet unable to embrace death. <laughs>